What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm Sean, your ordinary car guy, and today we're replacing the speakers on my dad's 2003 Dodge Dakota. I'm here with him helping him out, so let's get going. Alright, so we just have a few simple tools that we should need today. We have a screw gun or a screwdriver, some wire cutters, and some electrical tape. And we also have a little pick there just to get into any tight spots if we need it. Then we also have our replacement speakers there. So just some simple tools to use for this job. Now the first thing we're going to do is take the door panel off. There are five screws that you need to take loose. One in the top of the door panel. One that's in this hidden cover behind the handle. One down here. And then two that are at the bottom of the door on each side so those five we'll take those out and then we'll be able to pour, pull the door panel off and now we have this pick so we can get in behind and pop this cover off of the screw behind the door handle so you can just get in there pull it out then pull the door handle and stick your screwdriver in there to get the screw out now that we have all the screws out to take the door panel off and just lift up and then pull the rods that go to the door handle and lock off pull them out of the retainer to get the door loose and then after you do that the last thing will be to disconnect your switches Now that we have that done, door panel is off, and we have access to our speaker. Now for our stock speakers, they just have three screws around them that are holding it in. So you just take those out, and we'll pull the speaker off and disconnect it, and that's it. Got your old speaker out, and now we'll work on putting in the new one. All right, so now that we have our speaker out, go ahead and do a little test fit on the new one. So you can see that it doesn't sit flush. We're actually hitting the window track right here. So what we'll have to do is the old speaker is mounted to this bracket to sit outside of the door, to sit flush with the face of the door. So what we did is this is the actual frame of the speaker and it's held in by the three clips where you took the screws out so what we did we just took a flathead screwdriver put it back behind the edge of this uh, metal frame and then we took some a pair of needle nose pliers and bent these clips out and just bent the frame of the speaker up because we won't be able to reuse this um, so it doesn't matter if you bend it, you're getting rid of it anyways. But we do want to save the plastic frame here for reuse because we'll have to put the new speaker in there to mount it. So now that we have the old speaker out, it does have this like metal O-ring on it that sits with its ribbed that sits in, in the plastic frame. So what we'll do, we'll take the new speaker, set it in, so it mounts flush on this bracket and then we'll just take some screws and screw the speaker into the plastic frame and then you can just use the old screws that you took out of the door back to hold it into the door so that way it sets flush as you can see here it sets flush we won't have any issues hitting the window track just reuse the frame so that's what we're going to do it should work just fine now when fitting our speaker and the frame back into the door and getting our speaker aligned how we want it, there is a pin on the back side of one of these brackets. You can see that pin right there. And there is a V cut into the door. So that pin sits right in the corner. So that's how you know how to align the frame. So what we can do to get our speaker aligned as we want it is to put the frame in the door get it sitting there correctly 
put our speaker in it to align it how we want it and then pull it all off the door and we can screw it down so now when we're about to install our speaker we're going to have to wire it in so what we'll do is we'll take the old speaker and set the clip in because we want to find out which wire goes to which side of the speaker so on our new one we have a positive and negative side or big and little so we want to make sure these wires align properly so we'll set that in and pull it out keep it aligned so we know that the wire at the bottom goes to the positive or the big side and the wire at the top goes to the negative or the small side of the new speaker so what we'll do we'll just unwrap it cut the clip off and then just start wiring it wiring the new speaker in we now have the new speaker wired in so we just strip each side of the wire twisted them together bent one back over the other and use some electrical tape tape them together now we're just gonna plug in the speaker accordingly turn it on make sure it works and then we'll put it back in the door now that we have the speaker tested ensuring it works I'm going to stick it right back in the door you can use the cover these come with a cover most speakers will come with a cover uh, you can put that on there or you can just put it back in the door so we just have the three screws back in the frame holding it in and then we'll tighten it back down next will be to put the door panel back on so with that we'll just hook up the switches make sure these are connected back to the door handle and the lock and then this door panel sits back in there's hooks that are on the bottom of the panel that slide into these right here so we have these hooks so we'll just slip those back in put the five screws back in and we'll have the door panel back on then that'll be it so that'll be how you put the speaker in the door so we'll come back when we have the new speaker on and we'll wrap it up all right we got a door panel back on everything is screwed down and tightened up now that we got this one done we'll move on to the back door now for this we have four screws one behind the door handle that is behind the cover so you will have to pop that cover off again one behind this handle and then two at the bottom one there the other over there so we'll get those out pull this one off and take a look at what's behind it we have all the screws out now now it's just to remove the door panel so again like the front we'll just lift it up and off again we have the two cables or rods go into the door handle and the lock that we'll have to undo and then one cable going to the window switch to undo as well and after getting those off we'll just be able to pull the door panel off just like the front there we have it got the back door panel off now we'll take a look at the inside here Got the speaker just like the front with just the three screws holding it in. So we'll get that out and take a look at the inside. All right, now we have the speaker out. It is in the same kind of frame as the ones in the front, although it is thinner. So we could just mount the new speaker straight in the hole, but in doing that, we would have to use this, we'd have to use screws to grow right into the door panel in order to connect it uh, so that's not ideal so what we're going to do is just remove the old speaker from this frame just like we did on the front reuse the frame so it'll fit back in and use the you know regular screws regular screw holes and screws from the old speaker to install it that'll just give it a better better fit easier to do than just screwing the door panel so that's what we're going to do all right guys new theory on removing the speaker from its frame 
So we aren't going to reuse these clips that hold it in. So what we did this time, just took needle nose and just bent the clips back. We don't need them. It doesn't, we don't care if they break. We're not using them. We're just using the screw holes. So that's easier than trying to use that screwdriver and prying the old speaker out. Just take needle nose, pull those clips down, bend them back. It doesn't matter if they break. And now that we have the old speaker out, that's the old speaker out of the frame, and we're putting the new one in the frame. It's the same exact process from here on out as we did with the front. Put the new speaker in the frame, line it up, make sure we understand which wire goes which way on the old speaker, cut off the clip, rewire the speaker, install the speaker in the door with the frame, screw it back in, reattach the window switch, door handle and door lock, put the door frame back on, screw it back in. That's it, so from here on out, it's the same process as the front. All right, we got this one done, doors panels back on, speaker works, and we're all through. So that guys is how you do the front and the rear speaker something simple to do do yourself a favor and get some new ones and that's a wrap for this one guys so that's how you do the front and the rear speaker something easy to do and really do yourself a favor do yourself a favor and get some new speakers if you still have old ones in or even you know if you just aren't sounding that great get some new ones it is a great change something simple to do so now what we have to do, we have to do the passenger side. We just got finished with the driver side. We're gonna do the same exact thing on the passenger side and rock out these new speakers. So thanks for watching. We'll see you.